Hello and welcome back. In this session, we will try to complete a particular calculator operation. So what we will do is, we will click on 5 first and then plus 9 multiplied by 5 and we will verify the result as 50 here. Okay, so this is our test case. So we will build this test case in this session for that what we will do is we will create another class here okay so right click new class simple calculation okay and enable main. click on finish okay so from locator strategies let me copy the initial few lines and then paste it here okay and then i save this let me add throws so our test case is 5 plus 5, sorry, 9, 5 plus 9 multiplied by 5, and we will verify whether the result is 50. Okay, so what we will do is so we have this, and let me take a snapshot of this okay so now we have the snapshot here okay so let us use id to click on 5 so let, us, let me go back to locator strategy since we have already written the, the code for that. Um, let me use this and we need to click on 5 here. So digit will be 5. For plus symbol what we will do is we will make use of accessibility ID. So let us see what is the accessibility ID for plus. So the accessibility ID is plus here. Okay, so let me add it here. And then the next thing is we need to click on 9 and I'm going to make use of xpath okay, copy this and this is the button go back and check 9 and 9 is a button and the text is 9 okay instead of it so be 9 okay so now we have clicked on 5 plus 9 and multiply so for multiply what i will do is i will make use of android ui automator Android UI Automator and the text is star. Okay, so let me use ID again for 5. Okay, 
and the next thing is we need to verify the result as 50 for that we need to get the text out of this element so this element is a text view okay so let me take the resource id here whenever you use the locator strategy you need to uh, find out the one which is unique across all the elements so this is the resource id so we have used resource id using ui automator okay so let me add this okay, so this is the resource id now okay so instead of click we need to get the text out of get text so there is a method called get text which will get the text from this element okay so android element result text is equal to Okay, get text will get you a, a string. It's not an Android element, so it's going to be a string. So we are comparing the result text with 50. So if it is true, then the result matched. Else, so we'll add a fail here. And result, a uh, result didn't match, and we will add a pass here. Okay, so we have all the steps here. Let me run this. Okay, simple calculation, Java. Right click, run as Java application. Okay, it has clicked on five, but failed to click on plus okay so let us see why an element could not be located on the page using the given search parameters okay. for that we have used accessibility id so if you look at the ui automator viewer and let me click on plus here and we have used the location strategy as accessibility id so the accessibility id is plus here not this plus text is plus but the accessibility id is plus here so instead of plus we should use plus here okay so let me save this and let me rerun Okay, so this is how debug it. So this is one way of debugging it. So now it has, okay, so five plus nine, the next error which we got is, now it says an element could not be located. So it couldn't find this particular element. So we put in X here. So let us go back and see the UI automator viewer. So if you click on multiplication here, so what I will do is if I click on X here, 
or multiplication here what I will do is I will straight away copy the value from here and then add it here okay so instead of putting X here I will add the exact value from there okay and save it and let us rerun this okay. run as Java application Okay, so now it has clicked on multiplication and it has clicked on 5 and we got the result as 50 however our result says it's a fail a result didn't match that is because the result text whatever we get is an object so we cannot compare directly using double equals since it is an object so we need to use equals equals method and compare it with the value 50 okay so let us rerun this after changing from double equals to the equals method since this is a the result text is an object of string okay so let us right click and then run as java application okay. Okay, so now we got the result as pass and the result matched. So far in this program, we encountered three issues. One was with accessibility ID. So instead of giving the string uh, plus, we had given the symbol plus here as the value. Okay, so that was the first issue. And the second issue was here, I had given small x. So what I had done was, um, I went back to the UI automator viewer and copied the value from here and pasted it here so that was the second issue a result and the third issue was since get text returns an object of a string so we cannot use equals equals to equate this okay so instead we have to use the method equals okay so we changed it from double equals to dot equals method whenever we get any error we shouldn't panic and instead we should go back to a log file and the apm log and find out where the issue is and try to overcome it that is the reason i had kept purposely few errors here that is our first simple test case completed thanks for watching please stand by for the next video